Hello, as of now, Season 5 meta is exactly the same as Season 4. Nothing got nerfed, even Verlin Slash got a tiny bit of a nerf, but you're not gonna even feel it. The damage is gonna be exactly the same. So, you can play the same builds as you did in Season 4, or you can check my Season 4 tier list, cause all the skills in the tier list are exactly in the same spots. However, there are some builds that needs to be tested. And one of that is Wings of Ignition. Could be really good with uh, Source Awakening, but you need to awaken to projectile count plus 4. Any below that is kinda damage loss in AoE. I'm not gonna get into that, I'm not gonna explain a lot of stuff, but this is basically so far as now. I can explain what I'm doing. I'm basically playing Wings of Ignition with Source Awakening. I have only 3 projectiles. That's a lot of single target damage, AoE clear is not that big. I'm playing it with Condensed Fire, and at the same time, Condensed Fire in here is not for the damage, it's for extract energy basically. I'm extracting fire energies. And at the same time, I'm running Caprice Heart, so I'm extracting a lot of fire energies, and fire energies is spell damage. And this build is basically spell. So that's what I'm trying to do. I have some other ideas that I want to do, but I didn't have too much time playing. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do some changes, and when I'm pretty sure how good the build is, I'm gonna do the build guide. Another build that is not bad is Frostball. It's Frostball, however, with a new staff that's called Sebda Coexistence. Right? This one, that increases the Frostball projectile speed, Frostball pierces all targets, and Frostball generates explosions. This is not, by the way, a crazy build, but it's not a bad one. If you want something different, but you definitely need a staff, and you definitely want that staff in the Lacrima if you're gonna blast this build late into the game. But yeah, this is one of the builds. Another one, what you could try is a Daga with Venom Pang. With a poison schema. That's for Venom Fang. Basically, it changes poison schema to dash to the f farthest enemy, and while dashing, you deal damage to every single enemy. So that could be nice. I don't know how good it is, but it could be something. But again, you need unique items, right? Most of these builds I'm gonna show it's basically unique items. Because there is nothing new in this game. Nothing new skill-wise. Yeah, so Deadly Poison Schema. There is some minion uniques. Minion uniques are really strong. And minion builds are really strong. I'm talking about the fusion especially. Fusion is really strong with the new gloves. Remember that. Uh, let me find those gloves so I could show. Yeah, this one, right? Transcendent Prada Gauntlets. What it does, you gain Bursting Fusion. You gain fusion buff immediately after you summon the rune knight. So that means you don't need any zodiac nodes for that. But it's kinda bad because it's only one in view option. So there is a lot of RNG with this. Till you get the correct fusion knight, right? But yeah, these gloves are really nice. It saves you some zodiac points. It saves you... And I think they increase the timer. The animation is much faster right now for the fusion. So remember that one, but minions were always good. Rune Knights were always good, to be precise. After that, what other build could, could be good? On the new side, not much. This is basically it. This is basically what I would try to do, but yeah. This basically sums it up. So if you want a good build, you can do the same Frost Rank, you can do the same Crescent Slash and just blast through the... Season 5. I have some of those builds in Season 4. Basically, every single build that's called Season 4 build in my videos is working. Because there is no change. Yeah, GG's have fun. I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna do another video, maybe today, later, to talk about the changes. But it's simple. Most of the changes they did in Season 5 is, is, is not good, especially for the new players. But yeah, GG's have fun, and see you guys later. After this video, I'm going straight to stream again. Cause it's Saturday!